Thank you. I sort of feel short of words um, because two of the speakers before me spoke in great depth about uh, the language uh, computing technology. Uh, my name is Subhashish. I would like to start with a question. Will you let a language die? And now I'm going to turn that question a little bit and ask you, will you let your language die? There are about uh, 7,000 languages that are spoken in the world and half of them are uh, expected to die or uh, and this is uh, an estimate by UNESCO that uh, almost half of the world languages might die if we don't uh, preserve them today. Rising Voices is, uh, is a project by Global Voices. Global Voices is a non-profit and it works on citizen journalism where uh, volunteers contribute uh, different articles about their own um, region, covering different uh, aspects which are otherwise not covered in the mainstream media. And Rising Voices particularly focuses on marginalized communities um, and their languages and cultures and so on. Um, and Eddie Avila, who is the director of Rising Voices, was supposed to be here speaking on this day. Unfortunately, he couldn't come. Uh, so I'm sort of speaking on, on his behalf. I'm, I'm a volunteer at, at Rising Voices. And the Rising Voices works on many different uh, subject areas, and uh, that includes things like audiovisual documentation, uh, supporting communities with different tools and microgrants, so the communities can uh, take different initiatives and, and work on uh, taking their language from a physical uh, space to a digital space. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the activities that Rising Voices uh, does. So, uh, Eddie, who is based in Bolivia, works with a lot of Latin American languages. And uh, if you can see on the screen, there are 522 indigenous, uh, sorry, 420 languages uh, that are spoken by so many people. And that consists of like 10% of the region's population, which is a lot. And uh, imagine all these languages that are spoken in those uh, countries. What happens uh, when those languages don't have a digital presence. And uh, so, uh, one of the things to look at those languages, how valuable those languages are on uh, the internet, is Wikipedia. As you know, Wikipedia exists in more than 300 languages, uh, or about 300 languages now. And uh, these are some of the languages from Latin America that have Wikipedias of their uh, own. But there exists more than that, right? You just saw the number. 420 languages. So, what about those languages? Um, and uh, Eddie sort of applied for a, for a grant uh, from Wikimedia Foundation, and that grant uh, enabled him to uh, work with the community, do some research. Uh, so, things like interviews and data collection and surveys um, that resulted uh, into 25 different projects, or about 25 different projects. And uh, this was to understand the, the impact. Uh, and use of those languages on the internet and, and see how viable those languages are as a Wikipedia candidate. Uh, because Wikipedia also look at, uh, looks at uh, things like uh, if there is a newspaper in a language, if there is a regular publication, if there is a book, and so on. And, uh, and many languages don't qualify uh, as a viable language on Wikipedia. So, so this recommended uh, these uh, re this research uh, resulted into multiple recommendations for different Wikipedia communities and uh, or potential Wikipedia communities and encourage uh, contributors and, and and readers of Wikipedia to sort of gather and create new Wikipedias. Uh, this is a project called okay, it's sort of broken, but uh, it's a project called um, Meme Mother Language or Meme ML. Uh, that's a hashtag that's used on uh, social media. Every year, uh, many volunteers and organizations gather and create memes in their own languages. Uh, and uh, the interesting thing about this particular meme is it's, uh, it's in a language called um, uh, Alo, sorry, um, it's called Olelo Hawaiian. Uh, so it's one of the one of the sort of uh, one of the two Hawaiian languages that are official in the country, but at the same time, uh, the, this particular language is spoken by less more people and there is less digital resource and so on. Uh, and, uh, and this particular meme is made from 
a Hawaiian wizard called Olelo uh, no Aeu. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. By Aloha Aina, who is uh, who is responsible for creating all of these based on uh, based on, based on different different uh, compilations by Mary Kawena Pukui. Uh, so those uh, compilations helped her to create these memes and made them popular. And, and she made them popular during that uh, event, the Meme ML event um, that that goes on uh, in the International Mother Language Day. The, the next project is uh, is about revitalizing uh, languages using audio documentary, and um, this is this particular thing is in Buenos Aires, uh, Argentina. By uh, and there are ten thousand Mapuche speakers uh, in Buenos Aires uh, itself, uh, and they also face similar problems. They, their language uh, is not that popular on the internet, and many people don't use it on a regular basis. So they created, uh, it's, it's sort of a transition between art and uh, journalism and they created audio documentaries to promote the language. Uh, this is a project that I founded, it's called Open Speaks and uh, it sort of is, uh, is uh, so Eddie Avila was just talking about it before, is an advisor to this project and uh, being an RV contributor myself, I thought uh, it's probably be it's probably be useful if I start documenting the documentation process. So when I was uh, recording different languages, spoken, uh, so I'm from India and I and I go uh, to different native language communities and collaborate with the organizations and and create documentaries in their native languages, uh, focusing on storytelling. Uh, so Kristen, who is also here uh, from uh, Wikitimes, I'm also a volunteer at Wikitimes. Uh, we collaborate together to create uh, narratives. Uh, in different uh, native languages, which are um, which are spoken by less number of people and are sort of minority languages, and um, so a lot of a lot of resources, particularly um, open resources, open source tools, um, and uh, open educational resources, open data sets are, are are kind of created under the scope of open space. Um, and uh, the last one is uh, is a is a project by Nigerian cultural evangelist Abebayo uh, Adekbempo, who speaks a language called Yoruba. Yoruba is one of the, uh, one of the few major languages uh, from Nigeria. And what he has done is he has founded an organization called General Games. And uh, General Games creates apps for kids to learn the language via apps. So they play different games and learn the language. Um, and uh, I, I will sort of bring my uh, talk to a conclusion, and this is something that we have done so far. But uh, where do we go from here, right? Uh, Rising Voices is a, is a really small project under uh, Global Voices, and which has very limited funding and resources. So it's also important that people use the resources that, the resources that have been created by Rising Voices at the same time also collaborate and support such, uh, such causes. And uh, so that we grow uh, together and document more languages in the world. Thank you so much. And that's my email address if you want to email me. Uh, my Twitter doesn't open here. That's uh, that's a shame. The website Rising Voices, uh, Rising Global Voices uh, org also doesn't open here. So <coughs> if anyone is from the government, this is my request to them. Uh, please allow Rising Voices in your country because there are so many contributors and speakers who access the resources that we're creating. Thank you.